Hello, we're back. We are going to begin working on a CSS framework called Materialize. There are other frameworks out there. Another one that's very popular is called Bootstrap. You may have heard of it. Uh, there are quite a few. Uh, this one is um, materializecss.com. So go ahead and um, go to their website. And uh, a framework is, is a one way to add some some components to your site that you often have to add like a form or a nav bar or buttons and these are very professional looking and they're very easy to just grab and put into your site. I, I um, often use certain components. I have never built an entire website using a framework. I think it's a little bit too much of a shortcut and I don't think it's as professional as building your own and using your own creativity but I do like to use it for some of the constant features that you need like forms and nav bars and such so when I go to one of these um, sites I go over to the spot where it says components and click on it and see what they have so they have some of the same similar ones that others have they have badges, buttons, different things. The ones I always gravitate to is navbar and um, forms and sometimes I've used cards in the past and they're just different things that you can add to your website. So for example if you click on cards um, you will see what they have to offer. So they talk about what a card is and then they kind of show you examples of what it would look like. So if you were um, wanting to add some informational parts to your site and you wanted a nice title and a little description and this is a link and this, you know, then it's just there. It's just, it's beautiful. And then they give you the code that you would use. And this one's an image card. So an image card where you would have an image and then you'd have some information and there's a link and it's just, it's lovely. And then they give you the code and all you have to do is copy and paste it into your site. So we're going to go look at nav bars. Let's do that first. So let's go check out the nav bars. And so you can again, you can look at all the documentation and and basically just pick one that you like. So I quickly took a, a look and I decided to grab something that was kind of simple. So the one I picked was called centering the logo. So this is the one I picked and they talk a little bit about it. And then you can see an example of it. And then you can see the code. So all you're going to have to do is copy and paste this code and put it into your, into your web page. So we're going to go ahead and try it. All right, so I'm going to go to my code. And what I decided to do is I wanted to keep my old contact page that we had created together. And if you go back and look at it, it was here. And I wanted to keep it because I wanted to keep the form that we had created together. So what I've decided to do is create another contact page. And so when I click on that one, it takes me to this new one that we're going to build together. Okay. So if you go into your code, let's go into our file and let's create another contact page. So I'm actually going to create a third one since I already created the second one. You're going to create a second one. I'm going to create a third one. So we're still still on the same page, sort of. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit my new file. And I'm going to call this one contact three. I know, you know what? I'm going, to con I'm going to call it contact demo because it's a demonstration. Okay, dot HTML. All right. And you can con call yours whatever you want. Okay. So here's my contact demo.html. All right. So what we're going to do is what we usually do is type in HTML5 and get our boilerplate. And I'm going to change the title in the meta head. I'm going to change it to demo contact. You can call it contact2 or whatever you want to call it. Actually, you know what? We can call it yeah, let's just do that. Demo contact. I, I could say it's contact materialize or whatever. Okay. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to go back to our materialize 
and the first thing you need to do is let's go back to the home page. So I'm just going to go back to the home page. I was at the cards, now I got to go back to the home page. All right. So I'm going to hit, get, I'm going to click on get started. <clears throat> Now there are ways that you can grab it and one way is to download it, but there's an easier and faster way. We are going to use this thing called CDN. All right, so we're going to copy and paste a few lines of code and that's how we're going to be able to use all of the features. So the first line of code is the compiled and minified CSS. The second one is, called, is the JavaScript. So let's do one at a time. So let's start with the CSS one. It's basically another, it's like a link to a style sheet. So it's the CSS that they, that they have built. So we're going to go ahead and copy and paste it all. And so control copy, and I'm going to go back to my code. And we're going to be putting it in the head of our document. So I'm going to go right underneath my title. And I'm just going to paste it in. Okay, so we got that. The next thing I would like to paste in is I would like to paste in our own style sheet that we have created, remember? Because we're going to use some stuff in there as well. So let's go ahead and just type in link and hit tab. And then here we're going to put in style, the address style.css. So that's our folder where we're keeping our style sheet. So that's the, what we put there. Okay. Then we are going to go back to materialize and we are going to um, copy and paste the second line of code, which is the script tag. So I guess I have to go down here and copy and paste. All right. It doesn't want to work. So I'm going to start at the end. It's very being very tricky. Okay, there we go. All right, so control C and I'm going to go back to my code. Now we are not going to put this in the head. We are going to actually scroll down to right before the closing body tag. And I'm just going to kind of give us some space and I'm going to copy it and paste it here. I mean paste it here. So the script tag needs to be pasted just in front of the closing body tag because you don't want your any JavaScript to load prior to your CSS or to load prior to the rest of the HTML page uh, because it will slow down your page. So everybody always puts the script tags at the bottom of the body tag, the body, the bo area of the body, right before the closing tag. Okay. So now we have everything we need um, to get started. All right. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a nav bar. So um, let's go back to materialize and let's go back to our components and go to the nav bar component. And we can get any one we want. I have chosen to take the centering the logo one. I did want to show you the active one. This one's called active items. I wanted to show that one to you first before we take the other one. This one is very calm. It's a, this one's a popular one because it has this shading for an active for it's called the active um, link. When you hover over links, they get by default they're going to get shaded and that's a nice little feature and that's part of their styling. The active part is what that stays shaded so it basically hey I'm on the home page so it's going to be shaded. It whichever one you want to be constantly shaded and how they they um, make this happen is on that particular link the one they chose was the third one they just wrote in active in parentheses as one of their classes and that just does it for them. So at this moment I wanted to point out that the code that you're going to be copying is stuff that you're going to copy and paste into your HTML. It's not something you put in your CSS. 
because they're they already have their own CSS that's already by default part of this so we're putting all this in the HTML page and then it's going to automatically just have that style without doing anything in CSS all right so let's go up to the one I've chosen which is centering the logo so I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste all this code Control C go back to my code and I'm going to just throw it in there Control V all right Okay, I'm going to hit save. So I'm going to uh, right click and I'm going to say open with live server so I can see it. And okay, so there we go. We got logo, we got all this stuff. This is what it looks like. All right, so this is my contact demo HTML page. All right, so what I need to do is I need to fix all the links so that they're correct and I need to connect it to um, my other nav bar that I created you know so let's go ahead and do all that so the first thing I want to do is change the word logo to contact me alright and then um, let's see let's change this to index index.html and let's change this to home so that's our home page and then we're going to do our about page about.html and then we'll change this to about okay and then next we're going to change this to our first contact page all right and this will say contact and then I'm going to make another one. So I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to make another link. Copy it, paste it. And let's make this one called the contact. Well, you know what? I should probably link to all my contact pages. So let's make that one to the contact two. You don't have a contact two. So I'll just put two here. Whoops. And then I'm going to do another one. And this one's going to be my contact demo one and this one is going to be demo contact okay so this one's got all of them and then what I need to do is save it but you know what else I need to do I am going to go to my contact to page which is right here and I'm gonna I'm gonna add that link here oh I already did ha <laughs> um, but that's what I need to do. I need to add it here so that I can navigate back and forth to, two, to the two different pages that I want to. So this is a little bit more complex than it should be because I'm show, I have like three contact pages, but you kind of get the idea. All right, so if I hit save, let's go back. All right, so now it says contact me and then I've got all my links. Yay! All right. Okay, so did you notice that the nice feature that this one has is that these are shaded every time you hover? All right, so that's kind of nice. Now, what happens if I change the color? We can change the color. Um, we can do a lot of different things. Let's see, we can make this move to the right. We can make the links move to the right. Let me show you how to do that. So let me go into my contact demo one. All right, so this is our new nav bar. Okay, we sh can't change nav wrapper. We can change this. And the reason I know that is I, I read the documentation. So if you read the documentation in Materialize, it tells you kind of what you can do to change different things. So this one says you can make it right, left, or center. So I'm going to turn it, I'm going to make it right. Hit save, and it's going to make the logo go to the right, which is way over here. Contact me. All right, I'm going to put it back to center because I like it better in the center. And then the next thing we can change is this class left. We can change that word to right. And that's going to change the links. And that's going to make those go to the right side. Now notice I'm not changing any of this stuff. Don't want to change any of that. Don't want to change nav mobile. So that you, you got to be selective about what you're changing. You make sure you read the documentation. Um, so I think I saved it already, but let's do it just, just, just 
just in case and then all my links went to the right okay now in order to change the color the background color I'm actually gonna have to do that in my C in my CSS or our CSS so I'm gonna go over to the style CSS but before I do that I'm going to notice that there's a class of nav wrapper okay so that means that's separate from the nav so I could target the nav wrapper and change the um, color of just this one and then the other ones can stay the aqua marine so let me show you what I mean so I'm going back to my CSS and I have my nav is set as aquamarine. I can change that color and all my navs on every single page will change. But if I want to change just the newest one, then I'm going to target just that one. So I'm going to hit, um, I'm going to say dot nav dash wrapper. Because that, remember it was a class of nav dot wrapper or nav dash wrapper. So I'm going to use the dot and then I'm going to give it a color. So background color and it's going to be blue. Okay, so if I hit save and I go back, it's changed. So those are the, some of the ways that you can change um, your frameworks. Okay, so in our next video we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to actually learn how to add the form. We're going to go back to materialize and we're going to go into the form area and we're going to be um, putting a form in and we're also going to be looking at the icons. Let's see, there's the icons. So we're going to add some cute icons too. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.